What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you concerning Bob Arum. Bob Arum is the promoter of Top Rank. He runs Top Rank. He's been that way for a very long time. He's been around forever. Okay, he has went on record in stating that if Earl Spence wants to fight Terrence Crawford, he has no problem working with Showtime in collaboration to make that fight happen. None. You know, if it happens, it, it, it can happen if Spence wants it to happen, which he doesn't believe that it could be ha that it can happen. He also went on record to state that there's no longer uh, greediness, you know, and shit behind making fights that want to be made the public that wants to see because everybody now wants to see that fight. OK, we just seen Canelo Triple G, too. OK, um, these fights can not happen. They can't happen. But the thing, the question is, the true question, and you got to rip through the core and the true reasoning on why they're not happening. OK, and, and a lot of people like to throw politics up in there, you know. Um, but anyway, I'll get to that. Bob Arum also went on record and stating that no one's being stingy anymore about who runs what and who owns this and who owns that. You know, the fights can get made. He doesn't have time for that. And um for fights that not get made due to politics and the way other fighters and other promotions do things instead of working together. So he's willing to work together to make these fights made. And I want to add a little uh, shine, a little light on that, too, while we're at it. The reason why I feel that Bob Arum feels this way, I think what he's 86 years old, Bob Arum's old. And, you know, when people say stuff like I don't have time for certain things. And he said about that from the Pacquiao man. He said that about Pacquiao because, I mean, he's made enough money off Pacquiao. Leave Pacquiao be. Pacquiao will fight Mayweather. If he fights him in December, that would be awesome. But you, that just shows how easy this fight, that fight could get made without that particular promotional uh, problem or conflict. But, you know, um, I think now he sees being older that that only takes time away from a good fight. You don't want this fight to drag out like Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather did. OK, so I think him at an age, I think he wants to see the best fight, the best while he's still around to see the best fight, the best he's seen hundreds of great film uh, fights. But, you know, I think at his age, he doesn't have time to worry about money because he's made enough money for, you know, from generations to generations to come. If you're an Arab, if you're an Arab six generations from now, you're still going to be rich. So that's not the point. The point is it's about quality now, not about quantity. He wants to see the best fight the best. And the best at the time supposedly is Terrence Crawford and um, Errol Spence, you know, is claiming to be the best. So we have to see if he's really the best. Because, again, he hasn't fought people, the, the people that can prove that he's the best. I don't know where people get that from. Everyone jumps on the bandwagon when guys start knocking other guys up. And still they until they go up in competition, then the knockout stop. OK, so. Um, but anyway. Bob Arum wants this fight made. Terrence Crawford wants this fight made. You know, he said it will happen. Earl Spence is the only one that's not talking like he wants to get it made. OK, that's the loose end. All right. That's the leak. That's the person that does not want that fight. He said he was he is. You got to read between the lines. He said that I would be more interested in fighting the winner out of Porter Garcia or Keith Thurman, you know, than to see a fight with Terrence Crawford. Now, you have to ask yourself why, because that's exactly what Dante's Boxing Nation asked. OK. And he was like, oh, because it's just better. It, it would just be easier to make that fight. If you want a fighter, why don't you just fight the fighter? Because, see, here's the thing. Ultimately, if you can't get those fights, you know, if you can't get a Sean Porter, if you can't get that Keith Thurman, because Keith Thurman is just coming back on the scene. OK, he hasn't fought in over a year and a half. So if you know you can't get those fights and then your only excuse is, oh, because he's on the other side of the street. That's not a good, that, that's just an excuse. That's all it is. And then people are going to look at that, you know, and all the, the, all the Spence fans, you guys read, if you're looking at this video, you should think about what I'm actually saying before saying, nah, you bullshit. Because a lot of people do that. You know, when they start, when you start talking about their fans, they all, all they immediately get offended, you know, but ask yourself realistically. Okay. Why would Er why would Earl Spence say, okay, I have no problem making that fight with Bob Aaron. You know what I'm saying? Why? Well, we can collaborate. I'm my own agent. I'm my own boss, supposedly. You know, I fight on Showtime, but I'm pretty sure to fight Terrence Crawford. 
I would have to make a deal and be reasonable and collaborate with another network. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to fight the best, if you want to, if, if you think Terrence Crawford is that easy, because that's what he was saying in his interview when he was on his rant, he was saying that, you know, um, a lot of guys eat up what Terrence Crawford's been doing. You know what I'm saying? They they think that Terrence Crawford's so good and he really ain't. Well, if he really ain't, why don't you just go ahead and take a fight with him and get that out of the way? If you can beat Terrence Crawford that easy, why don't you go ahead and make that fight with Terrence Crawford or at least try or be open to it instead of giving us excuses? Because that's all that's all Errol Spence is doing at this point. The truth is truthfully giving us excuses on why he cannot fight instead of solutions. Okay. Let's get solutions to this. Not don't give us the uh, the excuse that oh he's in a different he's on the other side of the street. You know what I mean? What what was that about? You know because remember I'm gonna say it again, guys. He said, well, Terrence Crawford has Jeff Horn issues first. That's another excuse, right? So the first excuse he has he he has Jeff Horn issues, right? He needs to get a belt first, right? He got the belt now. Oh, he's on the other side of the street now. See, that's an excuse. That's separating the possibilities of fighting someone. That's making it more difficult. You know, but you're the only one speaking the difficulty and making the fight made. Does that make sense, Errol Spence fans? You know what I mean? Because I, I know everyone else that looks at this rationally will understand, like, hey, that guy's making sense. Because I try to make sense out of stuff. i never seen... Crawford one time say, well, he's with a different promotional company and uh, I think it'll be kind of hard to make that fight. I don't know, you know, you know what I mean? Those are excuses, bro. You know what I mean? If you if you haven't ever heard an excuse, you just did because that's all they are. You know what I mean? Just like Keith Thurman said, get a belt first then we can talk. We all know Keith Thur Thurman did not want to fight Spence, but he's went on record and said, I don't want to fight Spence right now. At least he was honest about it. I know nah, I don't want to do that right now. You know, and that's one thing I can't respect O'Keefe for because Keefe will say, hey, I ain't ready for that. I got an injury or whatever. And then I got another injury on top of that injury. You know, I just got married. I ain't got time for that. I already unified. I was I had a piece of that unification at welterweight. You know, what I mean, Sp Spence has done neither. Terrence Crawford has done that at a weight class before that. And he's been at another weight class. It was 135. So you can't say that Terrence Crawford is running from this challenge, but we can question that Earl Spence is. Now the promoter, Bob Arum, is in collaboration, is in agreeance to making this fight happen. So guess what? This is all in Errol Spence's court. So all you Terrence, uh, you, all you Errol Spence fans out there, if you guys think that Errol Spence really truly wants to make a fight with Terrence Crawford, you guys are delusional. You really are. You know what I mean? I want to see what he does. I do want to see how he rebuttals because he hasn't said anything really since that. He's went on Twitter and, you know, said, oh, well, you don't make as much money as me. You're just trying to compare yourself to a fighter that you never fought. That's all you're doing at that point. Let's make that fight happen. You know what I mean? Because, you know, now Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford has no bitch in him, bro. He'll fight whoever he's going to fight. You know what I mean? That's what I liked about Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is the guy that took the gamble in fighting Gamboa, the un, like the undefeated Gamboa, the golden Olympian Gamboa, that guy at 135. You know what I'm saying? That was a hard fight. And that, as, as of today, that's been his hardest fight. Because Gamboa, regardless of what you say, Gamboa was the pinnacle of the guy. He signed with 50 Cent. He had a, he had a huge contract you know, on, on the on a platter for him. You know, he was the man at that weight class. Guys like Brandon Rios was ducking him. They didn't they didn't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? But Terrence Crawford took that chance, you know, and it paid off big. So um Earl Spence has some explaining to do. You know, he he has to respond. But better yet, more than respond, he needs to make something happen besides telling everyone excuses. You know, so, but yeah, you know, so I give Dante's Boxing Nation props for that because, you know, that is something, you know, you, you would care to fight one fighter or other fighters except this other guy, you know what I mean? So let's, you know, it's, if you can't make the fight with the guys that you called out, you take the next best thing and the next best thing is Crawford, regardless of what side of the street you're on. 
You know what I mean? So, anyway, that's my take on it. That's the news. You guys, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.